Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with part three using the Simon Says Stamp April 2021 card kit. This is gonna be the final part. And today I'm working with this beautiful floral cluster um, stamp that was included. This really sang to me and I just wanted to do some coloring. I may go back to it and do some watercoloring as well. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in here. So this is card number nine. Um, my card base is made from Paper Tray Ink Raspberry Fizz, beautiful bright pink color. And I decided that for this panel, I was just gonna leave it black and white. Um, so I did stamp this out using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I then trimmed that out using my MFT Blueprint 32 frame die. This measures uh, three and three quarters by five inches. Then I'm gonna take one of the sticker sentiments and pop that up using some foam tape. Or I'm sorry, some foam dots. <laughs> and these are all one size. Um, when I need something smaller, I just usually cut off the bottom strip uh, in half and then that gives me sort of a little rectangle instead of a square and makes that uh, much easier to sort of fit around on things that are oddly sized like this. So I love this sentiment. It reads, believe in yourself. I think this pink and this light blue work really well together. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that into place up in that top right hand corner, sort of the perfect spot for a sentiment. And then on the inside, of course, I have my trusty Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna add one of the sentiment stickers that reads, dream big. I'm gonna add some ATG to the back of that. And I'll place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number nine. For the next few cards, I'm gonna be using some new alcohol markers that I purchased. I'm giving you a look at them here. They are by Artex and I found them on Amazon. Um, this is my first time using them and I have to say for now, I am really very happy with them. I am gonna continue to use these for the next little while. Um, I have been looking for something that is an alternative to Copics. I love Copics. I will always sing their praises, um, but they are so expensive. And I really have very few Copic markers. I, I tend to use the same colors all the time. And I, I did a good job, I think, picking out colors that I really like, but sometimes you want something, you know, a little different. And they're so expensive right now, it just wasn't in my budget. So, uh, I ended up actually picking up three different sets of these markers, which cost less than half of one set of Copics. So again, these aren't Copics. Um, they, they do color a little differently, but they blend really beautifully. Um, my next thing I'm kind of looking for as I use them is I wanna see how long the ink is going to last. So I will keep you updated as I use these. I will link these below. Um, like I said, I bought three of the sets of them. Now, I'll be honest, the I really used mostly the markers from just one set. I think I only pulled one or two uh, from my second colored set. And then the third set that I bought uh, was actually just for skin tones because I'm trying to learn um, how to color a different skin tones. So I will um, link all of them for you below so you can check them out for yourself. Um, the one that I used is the, the most from was the ADP set. So I will also list for you on my blog post which numbers of the markers I used for all of my blending. Um, these are just simply numbered um, similar to the way that Copics are. I have left in the full coloring of this just so you can see how I blended everything together. I know a lot of you like to watch that. I generally used threes on each of the flower colors and then I did use uh, four different greens for the leaves. They were actually my favorite part to color. I loved the way um, that they were curved and I was able to really sort of make that stand out um, by using those four different colors.
Uh, this also came with a colorless blender in each of the sets and I did use that a few different times. Very happy with the way that worked as well. And there is my finished piece. Now I did color a few flowers um, separately because I wanted to add some dimension. So I have again trimmed this out using that Blueprints 32 frame die. So it measures three and three quarters by five inches. I used that on all of the cards because I wanted to have that pop of the border around the outside and just, just let a little bit more of that color shine through. I then did fussy cut an additional flower, adding some foam dots to that. I'm gonna place that on top of the other one. And it's just that sort of top portion of it. So it's really giving some dimension. The um, back petals are still um, flat behind that one there. I've pulled in a sentiment sticker reading happiest ever, and it was really tempting to place it up in that top right hand corner again, but I wanted to try and do something a little different. So um, I ended up putting that along the bottom and I'm, I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. For the inside, I've got my Nina panel and I have trimmed this one actually down to three and three quarters by five inches. And I've stamped out, you are one of the best things in my life. I'll add some ATG to the back, place that on the inside and that will complete card number 10. For card number 11, I and for the rest of the, the last two cards, I am going to keep the coloring off screen just to save us some time. Uh, for this one, I want with a white and purple and blue theme. Um, and I, I do actually pull some smaller coloring videos uh, when I do different colors like this that I will sometimes post on TikTok. I do have one um, for the grays that I've used to create some dimension on these white flowers. Um, so make sure you're following me there. I will be posting that uh, shortly if it's not already up. Um, I have gone ahead here and stamped out the sentiment Hello Friend using some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I am going to add some ATG, pop that panel down on top of my card base. This is made from Summer Splash and that is by MFT. I have again colored an additional flower and fussy cut that out. I really love the dimension of having that top portion of the flower popped up with those other petals um, back behind. So I will add some foam dots and place that down on top. I've also colored a couple of the butterflies. I'm going to add one here. Just a little bit of art glitter glue there in the center. <laughs> Once I can get it to actually work. <laughs> and then I will press that down just in the center so I can leave those wings up and flying. For the inside, I have my panel, again, trimmed to three and three quarters by five inches. I've stamped that sentiment, you are a gift. I will again add some ATG to the back and place that on the inside of my panel. And that will complete card number 11. For card number 12 and our final card, I'm going to be sort of adding some things in to create a little 
bigger of a, a cluster of these flowers. I did go ahead and trim out some of the leaves that I had colored on another one, trying to save myself some of that ink because I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, and I kind of wanted to do sort of a half colored, half uncolored look. I tried to um, do these in some different ways for you, some different ideas that we could use this stamp. So um, I have the blue flower trimmed out. I have this extra set of leaves. I'm going to tuck that underneath the blue flower, sort of in between uh, the blue and the white, just to kind of keep that in a cluster of three. And that's all I'm going to color on this are the leaves and the flowers. So I'm going to add the purple and white flower popped up over where they normally would be. And then I have this sort of aqua blue flower that I'm gonna place underneath them in the middle. So I'm just kind of laying everything out here and making sure I've got that where I'd, I'd like it to be positioned. Once I've got the leaves down, I'll go ahead and place the blue flower down. And that is just glued, as well as the leaves are just glued directly onto my panel. And then the purple flower and the white flower, I'm gonna pop up using some of my foam squares. Now this time with the purple flower, I cut out the whole thing um, because I'm covering a blank flower. So um, rather than have that extra dimension, because I have the blue sort of overlapping that one, I left that flower full. And again, I pulled in a butterfly, just kind of laying everything out here, making sure it's in place where I'd like it to be. And then I'm looking at my stickers, trying to see if I want to use one of those sentiments. I decided I wanted to go with the dream more, pulling in a little bit of pink to go with that purple. Once I'm happy with that, I will go ahead and peel away the backing and press both those flowers into place. Again, I'll add a little bit of our glitter glue to the just the center portion of my butterfly there. Press that into place letting his wings pop up so they can fold and fly. And then I realized I forgot to color the center of that white flower, so I went ahead and added just a little bit of yellow there. I wanted to have this Dream More sentiment popped up as well, so I'm just kind of positioning that, um, deciding where I want to place the uh, foam dots to make sure that that's all nice and even. And then to make it a little bit easier before I get that pressed into place, I'm gonna add some ATG and place my panel down on my card base. And this purple card base is made from MFT grape jelly cardstock. Now I'm gonna use some foam squares, get that all popped up. And press that into place. For the inside, I'm gonna pull in a little bit more pink using one of those stickers that reads Scattered Joy. This is again on a Nina panel trim to three and three quarters by five inches. I'll add some ATG, place that down on the inside, and that will complete our final card using the Simon Says Stamp April 2021 card kit. I love those florals. I know this is gonna be a stamp that I go back to time and time again. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.